At 6 o'clock, campaign 2018 in one week. Connecticut voters will go to the polls to elect a new governor. And tonight, Quinnipiac University's poll is suggesting the race is neck and neck. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Dennis House. And I'm Denise DeCenzo. Republican Bob Stefanowski has been surging and Democrat Ned Lamont is clinging to a small lead. Tonight we have team coverage. Channel 3 Susan Raff is live at Foxwoods ahead of the last televised debate before the election. But first to Channel 3's Matthew Campbell live at the state capitol. And Matthew, many are looking to those undecided and unaffiliated voters to try to get them to go to that candidate. Yeah, Dennis and Denise, what happens with these unaffiliated, that's going to be crucial. Right now, Stefanowski has a slight edge in that category, but that could change if Oz voters start to shift to Ned Lamont. There are nearly a million unaffiliated voters in Connecticut. They outnumber registered Democrats and outnumber registered Republicans nearly two to one. When votes are cast in just one week, the unaffiliated wield a lot of power. Keep an eye in, on the independents. That's a group that we've seen a bit of movement on. Quinnipiac released a new poll today and it shows independents and unaffiliated are leaning red. 43% of those polled would vote for Republican Bob Stefanowski. Democrat Ned Lamont would get 38%. 13% are siding with unaffiliated candidate Oz Griebel. As it stands, a win among independents would not give Stefanowski a win. Lamont in this poll overall still leads by four points. So for a Republican to win, they need to do very well among independents. And right now, Stefanowski isn't doing well enough. Let's look even closer. The poll shows there are only 4% who are undecided, so many voters have made up their minds. But Quinnipiac's poll shows Griebel voters can still be swayed. Nine in 10 voters um, who are voting for the major party candidates say their mind is made up. But if you look at the Griebel voters, about half of them say they could still change their minds. And if they do change their minds, where will they go? It seems as if the people that are voting for Griebel, that if they decide in the end that they would rather vote for one of the major party candidates, that candidate would be Lamont. So with a week to go, that battle over Oz voters will be intense. And we spoke with Griebel today. He says he's not that concerned. He says that this poll does not factor in the recent Hartford current endorsement. And if you were wondering, the last time an independent or unaffiliated candidate won, you'd have to look back to 1990. That's when Lowell Weicker became governor. That's the latest live here at the Capitol tonight. Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News.